How's it going, everybody? Dot Today here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today, and I am very excited because we have just gotten a whole bunch of new information regarding both Dragon Ball Fighters and the new DLC character Super Baby 2. Now, as far as the information goes for Dragon Ball Fighters itself, we actually have some new nerfs slash mostly bug fixes, but we'll get to those later. There actually is some meaningful stuff there, and some characters that might have dodged getting nerfed this time around, even though I don't think it's too much of a big deal, but again, we'll talk about that stuff later because up first as you see on your screen right now we got to talk about super baby 2 and some of these insane combos that he's been shown to have these combos were of course shown off during super baby 2 showcase but i actually got the full 1080p footage over on tyrant's youtube channel and i'll definitely be linking that video down below because in that video he does go over the notations for these combos so when super baby 2 actually drops that is going to be an insanely good learning resource to have day one this video that you're watching right now is more going to cover the cool combos themselves what roles the special moves are playing in all of this how you can apply this stuff to neutral etc etc basically we're going to be talking about why super baby 2 looks absolutely insane as a character so let's start by breaking down something that i personally think you're going to be seeing a lot of in super baby 2's optimal combos that of course being his go-to key blast loop you can see here that this combo leads into it and once you want to start the actual loop itself you're going to want to use his forward special attack which is a giant key blast that does come back even if it hit which is very important here because that is a huge part of what makes this combo possible so you'll use the forward S and then immediately go into your darkness spring shot, which is quarter circle back X. This move has the benefits of having a physical hitbox, much like Yamcha's Gale Claws. And on top of that, it also has the benefit that these two key blasts also come back, even if they hit your opponent. After learning that, you can kind of assume how the combo is going to go from there. After hitting them with both key blasts from the darkness spring shot, the first key blast from your forward S is already on its way back and hits your opponent again, allowing you to continue your combo until your darkness spring shot key blasts come back, which then allow you to loop again and then again <laughs> honestly i'm super psyched that this looks to play a big role in baby 2's combos just because of how visually cool it is the last really important thing to note about this is that in this specific combo he wanted to land the great ape level 3 which can only be done on the ground so he goes into his normal air key blast these also have the ability to return if they miss but these key blasts don't have the ability to come back if they actually hit your opponent this is more just stalling for time so that the other key blast from darkness spring shot come back allowing him to land an air dragon rush setting up a perfect level three like i said before the reason i wanted to start with this is because i think once you nail this part of baby's game plan really just so much opens up to you because these returning key blasts play such a big role in so many different parts of the game if you catch somebody super dashing with your darkness spring shot those key blasts coming back can help in a vanish combo they can also be really good at setting up pressure or you could even just throw out some of these key blasts in neutral and even if they don't hit they still do a lot to build up pressure on your side really i think it's going to be this versatility factor that's going to make Super Baby 2 such a big threat in this game. You can actually see a lot of other versatility factors in this solo TOD combo Baby has. Right after this dash and heavy after a jumping 2 8, you can see Super Baby actually uses a special move that's mostly for wake up pressure to extend the combo upwards into a super dash, which of course is the only way Baby can actually extend off of it in this certain scenario. But this very same move is also used later on in the combo to get out of the corner in order to put the opponent back into it. This is due to the fact that Baby does step into this move before he actually launches the attack in the air, allowing him to get just enough distance to set this up. After that, you can see another example of this character being stupid versatile when he calls in Team Gohan's EX assist. Now, you might notice that Super Baby 2 is currently in limit break, which means all of the rest of his teammates are dead, but this is actually due to a system mechanic he has that allows him access to all of the assists of the previously knocked out character on your opponent's team. So in this case, that knocked out character is Team Gohan, and Baby chooses to EX this special move, which allows him access to Team Gohan on C assist, which of course allows him to extend this combo as if he still had assist of his own. And again, I do want to stress that Baby can use all of the assist here. It's just that Team Gohan's C assist was definitely the most usable in this situation. But let's say you were playing neutral instead of going for a TOD here. If you wanted to, you could just use the light variation of this move to use Gohan's A assist or the medium to use his B assist. Also, I do want to note this combo is really smart in the fact that while Team Gohan's doing this C assist, you can actually see on the left here that Baby is spamming his special button to try to throw out those key blasts because later on when you want to end this with a dragon rush to set up a level three those key blasts coming back are going to be very clutch and the only reason you're able to get this dragon rush which is crazy to me right you don't even see baby fire these key blasts on screen but they're already on their way back to help with the combo <laughs> 
<laughs> that is so cool. I should also note that the super move you're seeing at the end of this combo is Baby's second level three variation of the Great Ape Attack. You get access to this one when at least one of your characters are dead, much like Goku GT. As far as other details about Super Baby 2 goes that we learned about during the showcase, we have to talk about the fact that they did give him a low hitting 2L, which I thought was just simply insane. I did not think with all of these other pressure tools, Baby would have access to a low hitting 2L like that, but they did give it to him, even though it is on the slower side of things. We also have to talk about Baby's assist, in which he actually has quite a few decent options. In fact, personally, I would say he's a great example of a character having three very usable assists, depending on what situations you want. Starting off with his A assist, he actually fires a group of key blasts forward, and you guessed it, these also come back even though you're just the assist. Obviously, this is insanely strong. I think it's going to be the assist I go with personally, just because of the pressure and how funny it is to hit your opponent with these, even if Baby gets traded with. But some really smart uses we saw in the showcase would be extending the combo with this assist, but having some of the key blasts miss so that they also come back. So you can essentially extend with this assist twice. The B assist is Baby's dive special, and as Tyron shows off in the video, you can use it to extend from in-air situations. And Baby C assist is a beam C assist. So that is always going to be good. That's a classic. Very splashable on pretty much any team. So yeah, I think overall Baby's assists were very, very good. Really, the only worries I have for Baby is that he only has one move that grants him sliding, which is this 2L he has access to in the air. It'd be nice for him to have some more options than that, but overall, it's not too big of a deal because of all of the pressure setups he gets off of this anyway. Other than that, I think a few of his normals look a little bit slow and clunky, but nothing that I think would stop anybody from playing Baby if they really wanted to. It's not going to be a base Gogeta Blue thing, for example. But yeah, other than that, this character looks fantastic. He's really unique. I think the team behind this game definitely have nailed it with these characters, and now I'm looking forward to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta even more. But you guys can let me know your thoughts on Super Baby 2 and all these combos down below in the comment section. Before we end this video, though, we do have to talk about what I mentioned at the beginning of this video, though, including some nerf slash bug fixes that were announced to be coming along with Super Baby. As far as who dodged getting nerfs, you probably already guessed it, but yes, UI Goku did not receive any nerfs. But the reason I said I don't find it as big of a deal is because really this was just entirely bug fixes, except for Master Roshi, who definitely caught a nerf to his B assist. <laughs> Although if they were going to flat out nerf a character, I guess it makes sense that it is the most recent DLC before Super Baby 2. But yeah, I guess they just really thought this move was too strong as the way it was. Don't get me wrong, after watching the Japan World Tour Finals, I can definitely see how they were worried about that. Players were playing Master Roshi specifically for this assist, so I can't really argue with the logic that it deserved a nerf. As far as other nerf slash bug fixes go, Go Tanks was also hit. That is right, Machine Gun Punch is now not a TOD machine anymore. Go Tanks now has to work again for TODs, although I do have to say Go Tanks is still very good. Looking at Go Tanks as an entire package, I still think he's very, very strong. Now maybe he's just not a broken level of strong, as in they didn't just leave in a scaling oversight, causing him to have too much damage. Overall, though, while the changes were very limited, I do appreciate the fact that they touched on the areas they did, including fixing up some other bugs, mostly because it's just good to keep these issues out of the game as much as possible. But of course, you can let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comment section. I also would say that I do think UI Goku needs to be nerfed in some way, but I'm hoping there's still plenty of time for them to do that at some point if they do continue on the game with a potential season four. Other than that, though, let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about today down below in the comment section. I'm going to be reading through them a ton just because I am super excited for Super Baby 2 week. And if you are as well, make sure to the like button and subscribe to the channel because we are definitely going to be doing a full week of Super Baby 2 ranked matches, including trying to land all the combos, all the crazy stuff, all the new tech, etc., etc. It's going to be a lot of fun. Other than that, you can check out some more videos that should be on your screen right now if you want to watch some more right away. I have been Dr. Doya, though. Thank you for watching this one all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.